If there's anything that's saturated in 2024, it's the sheer number of different business models that you can do as an 18 year old in high school. When I started copywriting in 2019, there were like two things to pick from. It was either copywriting or drop shipping. And since then, there's been like a hundred new business models a year for you to try and confuse yourself with. And there's one thing I've realized, there's one thing in common between all of these business models that you see online. I don't care if it's SMMA or some AI agency or making AI TikToks. All these new money making methods require the same skill. If someone has a grasp of this one skill, they will crush any of these business models. And the people that don't have this one skill are probably gonna fail at everything no matter what. Even if someone lays out the entire model to you, because you don't have this one skill, you're gonna fail. And that skill is knowing how to sell with words. It's the skill called copywriting. It's the same skill that is creating literal millionaires in their early 20s, even if they're kind of dumb. Regardless of what business you plan to go into, because I don't care. Whatever it is, pay attention right now because I'm gonna tell you something. If you master this skill, you will literally never go broke again. Again. I'm going to tell you something that's going to blow your mind. You actually already are a copywriter, even if you don't know it yet. Let's take a couple of the most trending business models you can do right now. You got the TikTok shop affiliate thing, which is crazy. And then you got like the growth operator school group thing. Now for both of these business models, my boys actually happen to be teaching this thing. And so I know these pretty well. Think about TikTok shop. What is the purpose of these videos you're trying to make? You're trying to sell products online. <laughs> even if those affiliates on TikTok shop don't know it, they're using copyright to get millions of views and then make a bunch of money with TikTok shop. Think about what they're doing when they make a video. They have to have a hook. Does that sound familiar yet? They have to hold people's attention all the way through the video. They have to make the product look really desirable and then they have to sell that shit. That is literally what I get paid $5,000 a month from a client to do with email or a website or anything, except it's just a hot girl saying it on TikTok. The only difference is I'm not a hot girl and it's spoken instead of written. If you're a growth operator, what are you doing? Besides managing a school group, they have to write scripts for influencers so they can like help sell the product, probably writing a sales page, probably writing emails too. All of that is literally copywriting, except Alex Hermosi is staring at you in your eyeballs when you're doing it. Copywriting is the base level skill for both of those things. Now I've been copywriting for about four years now. And in that time, I've made a bunch of money as a freelancer and I've used that skill of copywriting to grow three separate businesses to seven figures. That's because copywriting is a skill, not an opportunity. Now hang tight for a sec. You're going to see where I'm going with this. I now have thousands of students who pay me and my team to learn copywriting from us. And I think only about 50% that are actually making money with copywriting are doing just freelancing like I did when I started. The copywriters that get more advanced and really understand the craft of writing copy aren't just doing freelancing. They're actually picking one of these business models that you see in here. I have a handful of copywriters that are really good at writing copy, but they're better at speaking. So they decided to go and be high ticket sales guys and they're ripping with that. I have a handful of students that decided to do the growth operator thing and are building out communities and programs for other businesses and other influencers and they're taking a percentage and they're making bank off that. I also have a couple of people who are doing TikTok shop on the side of their freelance work just because they're bored and because they want to hang out with Jimmy Farley, which who doesn't? Now I'm going to give you some level one copywriting stuff real quick because it doesn't matter what you want to do. If you know these copywriting principles, you will be way more successful than if you didn't know these things. Tip number one for copywriting is to do your research. This is so huge and almost everybody misses this part. If you sit down to write an email, you want to know everything about the type of person that that email or sales page or whatever else is going to. In my other video a while back when I wrote an email for Rob the Bank, I had already done my research on who is going to be reading that shit. It's level two or level three entrepreneurs that have already made a little bit of money online and they want more out of life. They want to make more money. They want to have an exit, whatever. I literally would go through Rob's followers and see the type of people that are following him, go through his comments, go through his likes and look at these people and make inferences about them. These people are physically fit. They love playing sports sports, boxing, running, lifting weights. These people value a really high quality lifestyle. So they like to go on boats. They like to go on vacation. They like to do all kinds of stuff, spend some money. This is Rob's audience. I did the research. I did what it took to get to know these people. I also did my research on Rob. I know that Rob sold a business like five years ago for 30 million. He's been rich ever since. I know that he makes a bunch of money in income because he has a lot of businesses that are making a lot of fucking cash right now. I know that he's got kids. I know that he's got a wife. I know he lives in Puerto Rico. He's tatted, he's handsome, he's tall, he's cool. I know all this stuff about Rob, I did my research. And so when I sit down to write any email or whatever, I already know exactly what I'm gonna say and it's gonna be on fucking point. If you go in there and you're trying to do copywriting, and again, whether it's for an email or for a TikTok shop or growth operating or whatever, and you're guessing, you're going to lose sales. You're not gonna perform, you're gonna lose money. And then your client's gonna hate you and you're gonna get fucking fired. I've watched 
people get fired before and it fucking sucks. So do your goddamn research, bro. Number two is just stick alongside the framework that goes PAS, problem, agitation, solution. If you've been following me for a while or you've ever read any sort of copywriting material in your life ever, you know the PAS is like the most common thing. I talk about it all the time. Problem, agitation, solution. Now, what you shouldn't do is do like the old 80s kind of infomercial thing where it's like, do you have warts on your bum? That really sucks if you do. Here's a solution. Take this pill. It'll go away. That's a really crude version of PAS. There's a lot of creative ways to do it. With the P, the problem, you're sort of identifying the pain that this person has in their life that you know because you did the research. And with A, agitation, you're making them realize how bad the problem is because if they don't think the problem is that bad, they're probably not going to buy whatever you're selling. And then with S, that's the solution. That's where you sell. That's where you talk about how great it is. That's the kind of stuff that sells products. That formula, it's been used since the fucking 1800s. I guarantee it'll work on you. Tip number three, and this is the most important one is revise. You should be revising, editing way more than you're actually writing. And I know this sounds like a sort of tedious thing where it's like, oh fuck, like I don't want to like edit the shit that I just took an hour to write. Listen, I'm the last person to ever tell you to revise because I hate that shit. And once I finish an email, it's going out. I don't want to read it again. I pretend it doesn't exist. Like I'm kind of lazy. Like I don't want to sit there and edit an email. But what you're doing when you're editing, revising an email or whatever it is, is you're trying to see if you stop giving a fuck. This is the most important thing. If you are a copywriter, your goal is to make the person on the other end give a fuck about what you're talking about. You have to go through and be like, oh, this part was boring. No one's going to give a fuck about that. Cut it. Maybe you're going to use different language to think about, okay, maybe if I said it this way, then they would care more. Maybe if I use an analogy here, maybe if I compared it to something they've already had in their life already or something like that. This is key for copywriting. This is key for everything. This is key for storytelling. This is key for life. You want to have friends? Learn copywriting. If you're still curious about like the more advanced stuff, for copywriting, then I have so many videos on that. Just watch that shit. But remember what I said, copywriting is a skill, not an opportunity. And in the age of internet marketing, where everyone's trying to put you on their model, or whatever, there's one thing that will keep you ahead of everybody else. If you can learn to write copy, you will beat everyone. You will know how to manipulate people psychologically. You know how to get what you want. You'll know how to sell. You'll know how to just crush all of your competition. I learned this skill four years ago and I've never looked back. I've made millions of dollars and I've helped a lot of people make money too. And secretly, that's the thing I enjoy most. Literally, as I'm filming this video, if I go to my wins for today, Claire signed a $1,600 a month client for two emails a week. <laughs> Plus 5% rev. That's a crazy deal. She's crushing. Charlie got a $3,500 a month plus 5% rev. Sebastian, who is this young kid who hangs out with me in Miami, just closed a client that I know who it is because I helped him with it. And that's just in the last nine hours. So if you want to learn more about this and become an internet marketing weapon, go to the link in my description. I will teach you copywriting. I'll teach you how to sign clients. I'll get you the 10K a month, probably in the next six months or so. If you can do that, you'll be crushing everybody because you know the skill of copywriting. If you enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe. Bell, 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 bell.